Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I am making press-ons because Born Pretty sent over this like jelly collection that I thought would be perfect for a tortoiseshell design. And I haven't done a torty nail in what feels like forever. So we're gonna try them out, play around with them. This video is not sponsored. So you're gonna get my honest opinion. I'm also gonna use the Model One's Blooming Gel because that's what's gonna help make this tortoise nail design happen. So the first thing I'm gonna do and yes, I'm wearing my bathrobe. Don't judge me. It was one of those days. I'm going to apply the Model 1's Blooming Gel to the entire nail. I'm not going to cure it yet. Not yet. This, I mean, I've tried using regular base gel and it kind of sort of works, but I find that the Blooming Gel really does a good job of helping the polish spread. So that's what I'm using. I'm taking the deepest color in this Born Pretty collection on my dotting tool. I'm going to just a dot in a few places totally random you can do as many or as few or as small as your uh, what <laughs> or as big as you want just gonna get the dots on and let them spread once they spread as much as i want them to and you can stop at any point or you can let them go till they get big and tremendous that's what she said then you're going to want to cure for 30 seconds and then i'm going to show you how to start layering on the depth and dimension and this is so freaking easy So that's cured. Now it's dry and I'm going to start laying or lay, layering. I don't know words. I'm going to layer on this um, kind of orangey amber color. It's They're all jellies, so you're going to be able to see through them. But this is going to start giving you dimension to your tortoiseshell nail. I'm just going to go over the entire nail with this orangey amber jelly color. <laughs> And once I have that applied to the entire nail, I'm going to go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. And then we're going to repeat the entire process all over again. Again, just to add some depth and to mention, if you want to stop here, you totally can. I mean, these are your nails. You can do them any way you want to. But this is what I did to get this look. So once I have that cured, I'm going to go in one more time with the Model 1's Blooming Gel. Apply that to the entire nail and start dot dotting darting no dotting <laughs> over that deep chocolatey brown it's a brown it's not a black um it might be a black i don't know but it's very dark the darkest color in the collection that is what i'm going to use again and i'm going to dot in the same exact spots now you could do again whatever you feel like doing but i really wanted to build up the depth of those tortoiseshell spots so i'm going to dot in the same place that doesn't mean it's going to necessarily spread the same way and i kind of like that i want them to be imperfect and unique and just do what the universe wants them to do who am i sounding like even anyway i'm going to do the dotting thing let it blossom and spread and bloom and do what it's going to do and then i'm going to cure again for 30 seconds and then we're going to do the amber color one more time again creating layers of depth and dimension but i'll talk you through that when we get there So we got that second coat of the blooming gel and the dots done. And now again, I'm going to go in and layer on that same orangey amber jelly color over the entire nail. And now we can really see this coming together. So I'm going to get this on the entire nail. I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to show you what two of them look like together, finish up the manicure. And then you're going to watch me question all my life choices.
So at this point, I mean, you can do whatever you want on your own nails. For me, I was going for, I don't want to say symmetry, but mm, I don't know what the word is. What's the word? You ever have a moment where you lose a word? Continuity. There it is. I found it. I'm going for continuity in this nail set. So I'm taking that same deep brownish color and I'm just going to throw that on every single nail. I'm going to do two coats. Um, I'm going to show you just one because this is going to get super repetitive and I'm trying to keep this one short a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. I did another coat off camera. So when I pull this out of the lamp right here, you're going to see what it looks like after two full coats and curing in between. So now it's time for top coat. This is the last step. We're all done. This is a super quick manicure, even though it seems like a lot of steps. Of course, I grab and reach for my Sassy Mouth Glossy Gel Top Coat. And as you can see, I'm literally about to put the brush down on the nail. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want to do glossy. I think I want to see these matte because I haven't really seen any matte tortoiseshell nails. Now, could this be a giant mistake? It could be. Um, and I really thought it was, but at least you can always, you know, go back in with a regular gel top coat. If it winds up being the biggest mistake of your life, I know first world problems, but I did grab the matte gel top coat. I'm going to throw that on all of the nails and then I'll come back and show you what this looks like. All right, y'all, are you ready? This is the matte torty set, and I think that was a good choice. I think it was a good choice. You guys will have to let me know, though, down below if you're into the matte nails or if you would prefer these glossy. You could totally do them glossy if you want to. I just thought it was something different. Here's what they look like on the nails. They're so sultry and sexy, and I love them with my whole entire heart. Thank you to Born Pretty for sending these over for me to try. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and let's hang out and be friends. I hope that the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.